Hello, I'm Martin Sommer. I'm here in Oxford at the Oxford Disfluency Conference. Happy to be here. I was asked by Norbert Wickfield to explain some of our data that we recently published. Uh, we did in Göttingen, in Germany, a study on the lateralization of auditory integration in people who stutter. Well, that sounds a bit complex. Essentially, as you have heard in the movie King's Speech, it does have a big effect if you mask your hearing uh, when speaking. Actually, um, masking your what masking the ears, masking your hearing, um, alleviates and improves uh, speech fluency. How this? How? Why does this happen? Well. Obviously, there is some relevance um, of how we perceive what we speak, and uh, there is some place in the brain where this obviously takes place, where we integrate what we hear into what and how we speak. Uh, so this is some integration of auditory input, of hearing, into the movement and speech execution, the, how our articulators uh, pronounce and say what we want to speak. Um, so we tested that, and we were hypothesizing that since many speech-related functions in people who stutter are shifted towards the right hemisphere, whereas in fluent speakers they happen on the left hemisphere, or mostly on the left hemisphere, our, our idea was that maybe this again, this auditory motor integration, this integration of hearing into movement execution would be shifted as well to the right side and maybe imperfect. And actually, that's what we found. We did a study where people were hearing regular bips uh, over headphones, and they had to finger tap according to the bip. They had to match precisely the finger tap with the bip that they heard. And the preciseness by which they um, adjusted their finger tap to the bip was measured, and we, we interfered with that simple task uh, by blocking a certain part of the brain uh, transiently with external stimulation. We hold a coil over the premotor area here or here on the left or on the right side of the brain. And it turned out that indeed in fluent speaking subjects, non-stuttering subjects, adults who stuttered with an age of, of about 25 years, 25 years old, it turned out that the left part of the brain is obviously responsible for this integration because when we block this transiently with this external stimulation, asynchrony, the matching of the tap and the tone get worse. This does not happen in adults who stutter. In them, by contrast, it's the blocking of the right hemispheric premotor areas that have the same and, and, and the even more pronounced effect, disrupting or disturbing the precise matching of finger tapping and the bip that they hear. So obviously we have a right shift uh, of this um, integration of the bips, of this matching of auditory input and bips into the finger execution, into the finger tapping task, and this shows that even non-speech functions are right shifted in adults who stutter, indicating a rather profound reorganization of how the brain deals with auditory motor integration deals with hearing input when um, doing motor when doing motor tasks such as finger tapping and probably also when speaking.